Good afternoon. My name is Ryan Mays. I'm a Master of Public Health student at Liberty University. My current time is 1648. That's Central Time. I'm currently located in Fort Leonard, Missouri, and today's date is 28 April 2019. The title of my presentation is Public Health in Rural Sumner County, Tennessee, with an emphasis on physical inactivity and seasonal influenza vaccination. A little background information. Uh, Sumner County is located in the Mid-Cumberland region, which is approximately 25 miles north of Nashville, Tennessee. The Mid-Cumberland region is actually comprised of 12 different counties that surround the Nashville metropolitan area. Within Sumner County, it's actually comprised of three cities, Hendersonville, Tennessee, Portland, Tennessee, and Gallatin, Tennessee. Each of these are unique to their own specific regions. Hendersonville, Tennessee is more of a suburban area with middle to upper middle class uh, personnel whereas Gallatin, Tennessee and Portland, Tennessee are middle to low income personnel typically, and it's more rural areas. All three of these health clinics though, they do have the basic needs that most public health facilities will have, and they also offer primary care as well. There's one primary care doctor who actually travels to all three of these clinics within the area to see patients. Next slide, please. So the purpose of my practical experience, I broke it down in three phases. First one was to understand the role of the health department. Uh, I feel most people who are outside of the realm of public health do, don't fully understand what the health department is and what it actually entails. From a national level, I think most people know about the World Health Organization or the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. However, past that, most people don't really understand how that plays into the state department, the regional, and then all the way down to the local level what actually seen for their public health needs. Secondly, I wanted to really understand the different dynamic between the rural public health and then the urban public health center. Whereas in Nashville, there's several different health departments there. Um, I'll say roughly five or seven, whereas in a lot of these smaller communities, there's only one or two in the rural areas. I wanted to see if there was a difference between the type of care they're receiving, if there was a continuity care, or if anything was different in that aspect. So it was really good when I got to sit down with the health director of Sumner County, we got to explore those options. Second thing was explain the effects of physical inactivity. Physical activity um, in America is huge as it is, um, but especially in our youth. Uh, we've definitely seen an increase of obesity rates, especially in the youth. Uh, we've seen a decrease in physical activity among children. And physical education in itself, um, unfortunately, has kind of tailed off a little bit. It isn't where it used to be or where it needs to be. So uh, with that, there are associated medical conditions that could occur, um, i.e. diabetes, dyslipidemia, hypertension, all these things are chronic medical conditions that could affect children going into adulthood. Also, their quality of life could be um, deteriorated as well. Just because if they're not exercising regularly, regulatory, it's going to actually affect their quality of life when they get into an adulthood. Third phase I wanted to focus on was examine why the seasonal influenza vaccination was actually decreasing, um, especially within Sumner County, Tennessee. Um, there's many reasons why our potential barriers. Um, one, the biggest one, was the utilization of the health clinic in general. I feel most people don't fully understand um, that they can go to the health clinic and actually receive their vaccinations. Many times people are seen at the health clinic, they don't actually have medical insurance, so a lot of times they will actually get their vaccinations for free, along with their medical care. Other people uh, prefer to go to a Walgreens or a CVS, um, a Publix, depending where you're located. And they will get their vaccine there because it's just more convenient to go shopping and then also get your vaccine maybe while you're waiting at groceries to get ready. Next slide. All right, so the first one was a walk across Sumner County Superhero 5K Fun Run. This was the event that they do every year. It's an annual event. Typically, it's in the fall, but this year they had to move to the spring due to some scheduling conflicts within the community. The biggest thing for this event was they were trying to raise money to put back into the physical education program within Sumner County schools. It was also to help raise awareness about physical inactivity and how exercise can be a good thing. They really were targeting everybody within the community to come out and get involved. And people who've never even participated in a fun run before or a 5K, they really tried to get them involved by recommending different apps they could use. They had different running groups. And there were a few incentives as well if they actually got involved with the group. Next, um, leading up to the day of the event, the health community had a big role in organizing from the sponsorship to getting the timing company, which they use active, um, from just getting everything organized for so the event could be run successfully. Um, while taking the sponsorships was one of their biggest feats because without sponsors, there's going to be no money raised and it's going to be very difficult for them to put on the event. 
So they focus heavily on trying to get sponsors for the event, um, especially within the community, to help out with that. The day of the event, they actually had roughly over 200 people show up for the event, which is a pretty good turnout. Um, they were hoping for a little bit more, but um, they they did they said that was a pretty nice turnout what they did have. Um, it started on April 6, 2019, was the day of the race. It started at 0735. It ended roughly around 09. Everything was cleaned up. And overall, it was a good success. Next slide. This one is the Influenza Point of Distribution Clinic. They actually had this held at Galvin Center, which is located in Galvin, Tennessee. This was a free flu drive for anybody who needed the flu shot. They could come in and receive their flu vaccination, and it would take them no more than maybe 15 minutes. That's from the point of sign-in, completing the questionnaires, and all the way to when they were able to leave. So leading up to the event, the biggest thing that they were focused on was the marketing piece. They used the local radio station, the newspaper. They used um, those people word of mouth walking into the clinic. Anything they could to spread the word about the local flu drive coming up. The day of the event, they actually had roughly around 80 people show up and actually get vaccinated, which is a pretty good turnout. Potential barriers. Um, this was held in December of 2018, which was actually after the typical flu season. So I think that played a big key into why maybe the numbers weren't as high as they may have liked. Um, also, the location was in Galvin, Tennessee. And again, like I stated before, Sumner County is made up of three different cities. So you have Hendersonville and Portland. Um, to get to Gallatin, Tennessee from either of those two locations was roughly 30 minutes either way. And then lastly, they do have some competitors, as we previously mentioned as well, i.e. the store realtors, i.e. Walmart, Myers. CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, all those different stores also offer the same services. Next slide. Recommendations. So I have three basic recommendations for the Summer County Health Clinic. First one is develop more physical education programs to be taught in the schools. I feel like the health educators are very well knowledge in um, physical education. And I think that could really help out the schools by helping build and helping shape what they're actually trying to uh, achieve within Summer County, especially within the schools. So I feel like if they had a standardized care for uh, physical activity among schools, um, that would be a very good thing for that community. Number two, uh, develop better ways to just market um, the services that are offered at the health clinic. Most people don't fully understand what is actually available there at the health clinic. So if they do a better job of actually advertising and marketing, and competing with these other places that offer similar care, I feel like more people actually start to gravitate back to the public health department. And number three, um, just continue to be the place where citizens of Sumner County um, are placed at number one. Um, Sumner County does a wonderful job of keeping their citizens at number one and actually focusing and putting emphasis on their patrons. And I think that's largely due to the health director there. Um, he's a great person. And his whole entire staff, they really do care about the people of Summer County and do their best. And they work diligently to make sure that the patients are actually receiving the care that they deserve and the care that they need. Next slide. This last slide just uh, lists a few of my references that I used for my project. Um, at the end of the day, I really did enjoy the opportunity to go to Summer County and learn more about the health department. This was a wonderful experience. Without this experience, um, I would not be as well versed as I am now and fully understand the capabilities of what a health department is able to do, especially at the local level. So again, my name is Ryan Mays, and thank you for listening to my presentation, and hope you have a wonderful day.